Hello, hello, hello. This is Rich Gale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere, and it is time to return to Cyclone and Sh Shivers 2. Ah! Now we had just gotten into the cafe. Now, did we do so? Let's see. We did the team, and we looked at that, we looked at this. Alrighty. Alright. What do we got here? Oh, quarters. A rose, a floppy disk, a three and a quarter floppy, a key, all the gum, and this little keystone. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go into the kitchen. Uh-oh. What's that? Alright. There's a doll on the stove. What's this? Hmm. It looks blank, but... Might not be blank. Take note of that symbol. That's important. Hmm. What do we got here? Rat poison. Hundred percent effective. Hmm. Oh, okay. oh, is there something here? Oh, a key. Let's see what's that key. My late wife would have loved that keychain. A flamingo. Okay, well. Alright, and now let's go into this back room here. Kind of a lovely room, lava lamp. A tacky rug, if you ask me. Eh, here's a book. Pearl. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. No tourists today. Scared off? Where are the tourists? Band asked for five hours. Asked for fewer hours. Thank goodness. Bank robbed so I can get a wall safe. Get supplies from Flag. Slow day. Can't afford to pay the whole ten whole band. Uh, at this rate, I can't even afford to pay. Hmm. Oh, and here's a note here for Pearl. Let's see what it says. Pearl, I know you're worried about what is happening in Cyclone. You should trust no one, not even me. If something happens, I want you to have the contents of my safe deposit box. Contains the truth. The key is under my trailer. Birds. Oh. Curious. Hmm. Tic tac toe dueling. Ooh, what's this in the drawer? All right. Actually, we'll do that afterwards. Let's see this phone. No. Oh, but we have messages. No, nothing new. You have no new messages. Pearl, where is that nephew of yours? I can't find my daughter Teresa anywhere. I know Lyle's responsible. I've seen it in his eyes. If he doesn't have some pretty darn good answers, I'll have him thrown in jail. That'll put the fear of the Lord in him. Okay, somebody's mad. 
To replay this message, press the blue button. To resave this message, press the red button. Message saved. Pearl, you tell your nephews that they had better quit the practical jokes. They came into my office and tried to tell me that I was in danger from Dark Cloud. Now, I don't want to hear any more Dark Cloud stuff. And as mayor, if they're up to something, I need to know. Dark Cloud. To replay this message, press the blue button. button. To resave this message, press the red button. No, I think Dark Cloud message is the ones behind saved. this all. Pearl, Phil here. What in the heck were those two kids giving up in Devil's Mountain? I picked them up this morning coming back to town. Now you know, Pearl, no good ever comes from that canyon. There's evil up there. Yeah. That was sun. That's not what I'm going to call that. I'm not going to remember that. I wondered if one of your nephews, not, not the kid that I picked up, but one of your blood relatives could watch this for a couple of hours. hours. That's called an emergency town town meeting. They can't afford for all those. I mean, I'm going to more orders. Still a couple of cans of soda left on the machine. machine. You better, better warn them. If one, one of my stores are missing, at least I'm going to have a bird. In jail. To replay my message, press the blue button. To message, save, and end of messages. Okay. Alright, well, now we got that. Okay. Now we have an info here. What's it? Photos for Mike and Lyle's friend. Mm. Ugh. That, that's a huge. Mm. Uh -huh. but these are. Those were interesting. Who's this lady? Okay. All right. Let's close that drawer and open this one. Desert satellite. Pearl Larson cycle. Free. free. In six month trial. Well, that's curious. Five five five. Oh, five 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 six thousand. Okay. Well, let's uh, give them a call, huh? Phone ringy. One ringy dingy. Two ringy dingies. Three ringy dingies. Four ringy dingies. Uh, hello, you've reached Desert Satellite. If you would like to sign up for our free satellite service, please leave your name and number after the beep. Oh, curious. All right, well, I think we found all we can find in here for right now. I don't trust that thing. All right, but we have Pearl's key, so let's go to her house. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. Is this it? Home sweet home. Well, I can only guess this is it. No. Yeah. Success! We have found Pearl's house. Alright, let's go over here to the kitchen. I wonder if there's something in here. see unless it's hidden somewhere 
Hmm, we got anything in the oven? A book. Trip Cyclone in Cyclone. Ah, Wendy. This must. This is Wendy. Okay. June 6th. Tomorrow morning when the sky is pink, or when Olivia wakes up, we leave for Cyclone, a sleepy desert town, mid-pink sandstone cliffs, awaiting Trip Cyclone to call it alive. June 8th. It's so hot, I can't think. June 9th. We stopped at Petroglyph Rock, pictures carved by dead Nazi. Anasazi. Anasa <laughs> Anasa yeah, that's um, one of the lost, in uh, lost Native American tribes, I believe. The hot wind seared my body, my brain. It just looks like graffiti to me. Well, June 12th, we finally, we're finally here in Cyclone. I feel as if we're experiencing an episode of the Twilight Zone or something. This ghost town sleeps, but inside it's alive, like a hive. That's a buzz with the disappearance of one of its own, the grocer's son. Yet, they fail to notice or care about the man and woman from New York. Where are they? Only their car waits for them at the Devil's Mouth. June 16th. Some authorities from Flagstaff came to search the canyon for the missing couple, but they didn't stay long. We're not getting any tips at the cafe, because we're out of towners and tourists are scarce. June 17th. I'm sure someone here in Cyclone is responsible for the disappearances of three people. Every time one of us asks about Devil's Mouth, we're warned to stay away because of some ancient Anasazi curse. Phil Dunlop at the market said the Navajos and Utes won't even go there because the spirits of the ancient ones still live there. I think the townspeople are just covering up some horrible secret. They're telling us to stay out, and at the same time, the mayor is trying to get mining companies to come and lay waste to Devil's Mouth. Go figure. I feel as if it's up to us to find the missing people or their bodies. We know it's a long shot, but if we can put the clues that lead to the perpetrator, I just knew someday I would get to use that word, in a rock video, then maybe we can get some attention from the media and it will be played on rock TV. June 21st, last night, there was an armed robbery at Safari Savings. Everyone here blames it on a transient, but I wonder if it's somehow connected to the missing people. June 23rd, life is good. Who would ever have guessed that we would find a benefactor here in Cyclone? We were about ready to get out of Cyclone because of the job situation when we ran into this guy wearing a kachin, kachina mask. Intended to ask him all sorts of questions, but when we mentioned that we were a rock band, he got very intense. Wanted to hear us right then and there. Fortunately, we had a copy of that old videotape. Turns out he loved our stuff, said he'd like to produce our rock video. He'll even hire an expert from LA or something. Uh, we're not to mention who is helping us. Seems he's afraid of the others in Cyclone, aren't we all? July 1st, Dark Cloud, who are you really? What is the secret you hide? Why do you help us? What is the pain inside? Are we too trusting or pawns in a greater game? This song is just too corny. By the way, where did you get the money to buy all the equipment you ordered? July 3rd. Things are moving fast. Dark Cloud rented an old dance hall for us to practice in and record. The door has a strange lock, but Lyle, as usual, figured out the combination so we could sneak in late at night to practice. Pearl will be glad to get us out of her basement. Cyclonians have been complaining. I guess they hear us through the mine tunnels. He prays to the Great Spirit for a way to tell the world of the ways of the Indian. Only he's not a real Indian, so this song is stupid! <laughs> I want to write a song about Dark Cloud, but it's not coming. I wish we knew who he was. That mask is so creepy. I find myself staring at everyone in town to see who he could be. See if I recognize his voice. The video technician came today. His name is Stuart, and he's younger than I thought he would be. Olivia thinks he's buff, so of course Lyle and Mike feel threatened. Dark Cloud, Phil Dunlap, Charles Spencer, Tad Matthews, Keith Hickson, too old, Ivan, too old, George Bellers, Andrew Washington, Richard Talbot, too dumb, Max Wharton, Bert Thompson, Stuart War Warinsky. July 9th, we went into Devil's Mouth today. Mike thought he saw the paintings on the rock start to move, but I think it was just his imagination. 
July 9th, 10th, people in Cyclone are pumped. After trying to get cable TV in the town for years, everyone will get satellites. Some sales guy came in and made everyone an offer they couldn't refuse. Six months free of service and a free TV. Unfortunately, they won't have rock TV, but too busy to watch. Making a music video is major work. July 12th, the library was open, so we went and looked up Kachinas. The library is fairly big, but some guy named Max Wharton had checked out every book there. He found enough information about Kachinas to know that Dark Cloud may not be playing with a full deck. The Indians considered Kachina masks to be sacred. Some masks are fed and taken care of as if they were the actual Kachina spirits. I guess there are other masks that are just pretend masks. Which kind is Dark Cloud wearing? Ivan Spencer disappeared today. He's this old man who sits in his barber shop all day spying on us. Mike stopped in the police station and overheard Bert, this poor drunk guy in the jail, saying that Ivan was a petroglyph, just like Jason. He also said something about Dark Cloud. Dark Cloud said everyone hated him in this town. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. July 14th, William disappeared. He's the preacher's son. According to Richard, the guy who works at the gas station, the two of them were camping up in the de in devil's mouth doesn't sound like fun to me when richard woke up all that was all there was left of J william was his empty sleeping bag lyle thinks he ran away to escape his dad's tyranny 16. mike says he saw one of our new videos on tv yeah right i think mike is just working too hard mike's and pearl is acting really bizarre about the tv though it's in a prominent spot in the cafe and she leaves it on all day. We used to hear all sorts of juicy gossip at the cafe. Now all every anyone does is watch TV. July 18th. We worked so hard today that my throat sore. When we came back to the cafe, the TV had been left on and there it was. One of our videos. Something was, I don't know. It had the right words with Mike's voice singing, but... For some reason, watching it made us want to go into Devil's Mouth. Olivia started crying when the song was over, probably because there were images in there that she hadn't planned. I think we just were just tired and that video wasn't quite what we had expected. July 19th, we drew straws to see who would confront Dark Cloud about the video. I lost, but Mike said he'd do it. He wanted to see Dark Cloud's face when he explained it. Mike doesn't trust him at all. July 20th, Mike was kind of rude when he confronted Dark Cloud. You know how Mike could be. Dark Cloud was cool. He said that he was so pleased with the outcome of the video that he submitted it to a cable TV station. He didn't really expect them to air it, but since they did, he hoped we were happy. Mike didn't buy it. Mike says from now on, one of us is following Dark Cloud every chance we get. July 23rd. Today we saw another of our, another of one of our videos on TV. Right in the middle of it, I started walking out the door. Only I'm not sure where I was going. Dave had to pull me back. Cyclone full of zombies, I see no evil. Is our music filling their minds? I hear no evil. Are we the ones who are bewitched? I speak no evil. As dark clouds roll and cover the light, who would have guessed our world would come to this? Dave followed Dark Cloud into the ruins after we finished filming today. There's a secret room back there. Dave hid behind a wall and watched while Dark Cloud chanted some Indian world words into this hole in the ground. All of a sudden, the spirit thing came up out of the hole. The spirit told Dark Cloud that our music was insulting, as if. Then Dark Cloud said he was just using the music to bring his enemies into the canyon so he could use some kind of power on them. We don't know what power he has, but I'm sure it's the answer to the disappearances. I think we might be in big trouble. August 2nd, we had a pretty hard time acting normal around Dark Cloud today. Olivia said she wanted to go home, but Mike said we should hang around and find out what kind of power Dark Cloud has. Meanwhile, everyone in Cyclone watches TV. No one in town goes into Flagstaff for supplies anymore, so supplies are running low. Pearl hadn't had meat for a few days, when all of a sudden Phil Dunlap called saying he has fresh meat at the market. Well, Richard works for Phil at the gas station, and he said Phil never leaves town. Richard was also mentioning it, also mentioned his dog was missing. I'll stick with Tuna. Uh-oh. When we go in, up into the mouth again to do pickups, Dave is going to follow Dark Cloud back into the ruins, this time with a... With a what? Let me see. 
translate that. Let's see, 24... T... A... P... Tape recorder! Ah. It took forever for Dave to come back tonight. This date. He managed to get all the stuff on tape. Even the... A... N... A... Oh! Anasazi. Nonsense about some kind of warrior. Olivia went out with Stuart tonight. She says she is just trying to find out how much he knows about Dark Cloud. Mike and Lyle can't stand it. August 9, when Dave was in the secret, that secret room behind the ruins, he saw a sand ping, so we made in our trip to the library. Sand pings are believed to be able to summon the powers of the past. I think most tribes use them for healing, but Dave said the one up there was not only unfinished, but it looked very different from the ones in the book. Tenth, the mayor's wife disappeared today, but the mayor didn't seem too concerned. Mike mentioned to the mayor that we might be in danger from Dark Cloud. The mayor got furious and told us never to mention that name again. Eleventh, I think living at that psycho motel is affecting Stuart's brain. He hasn't even noticed that there is something odd with the music videos. When he finally watched the TV, he was ticked off because Dark Cloud had changed stuff. But then he started to get this glassy look in his eyes. That's interesting. That bottom part's very interesting. I tried to call out of town today, but the long-distance phones were out of order. The only way to call out is to use two-way radios at a police station. There were several upset people waiting to call out. Maybe I can get through tomorrow. 13th. Last night, we, agreed, we all agreed that it was getting too dangerous for us to stay much longer. Luckily, there are clues in the most of the videos. Dave is going to the canyon this afternoon. He is going to use the tape recorder on the spirit and see if he can get it to come back. Uh, I can hardly write this. My hand is shaking. Dave and I went to the Kiva, but the spirit kept talking about some warriors, so we left more confused than ever. Just as we were coming out of the ruins, we saw Dark Cloud. He didn't see us because he was focusing on a side canyon. There, headed straight for the ruins, were two hikers. I wanted to call out and warn them, but about that, about what I didn't know. Dark Cloud said something, and then all of a sudden, a huge petroglyph of a horned animal peeled off the wall and came right at the hikers. Then, more came off the walls. From everywhere, the hikers kept falling down, trying to run away, but the monstrous things were everywhere, sucking their life away. All of a sudden, Dark Cloud pulled the petroglyphs back onto the walls. I thought the hikers were going to be safe until he pushed this huge rock down the cliff causing an avalanche of boulders to fall down on them. I couldn't look. That might have been us. I'm never going up into Devil's Mouth again. I now know that we will never get out of Cyclone alive. We've seen too much. What were, were we thinking when we thought we could catch a murderer merely by putting clues in our music videos? The music videos, if Dark Cloud will kill anyone who approaches the ruins, then he'll surely kill us. Dave took pictures when Dark Cloud left. I mailed them to a friend back home. 
15. I forgot to mention that when we got back to the van, it wouldn't start or we would have left last night. Dave and Mike are going to get some tools from Richard at the gas station and hike back up there to see if they can get it started. 16. What else can go wrong? An avalanche is blocking the road out of town. Even if they do get the van started, it may be impossible to get out of here without hiking. And it's 650 or 60 miles to the nearest town. Dave says he's driving up and over the boulders no matter what. Yeah, right. 17. Michael's, Mike's Uncle Jim disappeared today. Pearl just figured he went to Flagstaff in his truck and couldn't get back because of the avalanche. His truck is still in the garage. She never even looked. Jim Cyclone. Olivia's missing and someone vandalized the van. I don't, I know it's Dark Cloud. I can't stand it anymore. We're leaving tonight. Even if we have to take Pearl's truck, it's four wheel drive. Maybe it'll make it over the landslide. First, we're going to go to the motel and see if Stuart has seen Olivia. We need to all stick together. Oh my God, that was a handful. Oh boy, that was a hand, that was a mouthful. Oh my goodness, but we know something bad's in town. And it's Dark Cloud. Indian code. Hmm. Alright. Let's find in our room here. What's this room? Oh, it's a bedroom. Ah, uh, a lot of ravens there. No. Okay, Pearl, your house is creepy as F. A lot of birds, too. All right. Let's see. And there's a picture here. Where it is. All right. Let's open this drawer. Oh, here's a picture. Ah. Okay, I guess that's Pearl and some of the others. <laughs> Shiver shirt. <laughs> and a letter. Dear Pearl, you're a saint or batty, I can't tell which, to take Mike Lyle and their friends for the summer. I guess you'll have six of them there when the other one comes in August. It will be fun for them to explore Devil's Mouth and work at the cafe. I know you can't afford to pay them much, but I hope that t with tips they can at least earn enough money to buy the video camera they want. By the way, since you've got them for the summer, Jim and I decided to go to Alaska with Wendy's parents for the month of August. We'll be camping, so there's no point in trying to contact us. Good luck. We'll get back with you in, in September to see how things went. P.S. Thanks again, sis. Did you ever re redecorate and get all those hideous birds out of your place? No. So now, let's, uh, what's this? Oh, basement. Oh. Well, everybody must be residing down there. What is that? They said about, oh, what's this? Oh, it's a picture. What is this? That's an odd look in that girl's eyes, I'll tell you that. symbol there 
Uh oh. Well, you know what we're gonna do? We are going to uh, save that puzzle for next time, given the time. As always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere. I invite you to subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other videos I've done. I have played through uh, the original Shivers and a few other Sierra games, including Torrent's Passage, Lighthouse of Dark Being, and I've been work oh, it's also working my way through the Gabriel Knight series. This is interrupting that. <laughs> Pleasant interruption. Also working my way through several games uh, through the Doom series that follows one single protagonist. I'm currently working on Final Doom. After that, I will move. Once it's fully complete, I'll move on to uh, Doom 64, and then I will work to get Doom uh, 2016 and Doom Eternal. That's gonna be fun. I'm also working my way through the Tomb Raider games. Currently on Tomb Raider. I skipped over something there. Uh, I'm also working on several point and clicks, and I'm currently working on the Dark Side Detective. I am working my way through the Tomb Raider series, currently on Tomb Raider 3. I am also working my way through uh, the Sherlock Holmes games in a chronological order. So I'm working on the seventh game release, currently the third in the series. Uh, next year they're going to release uh, a new one called uh, Chapter 1, which will be the new first in the series. Ain't that going to be fun? <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I'm also working my way through Alien Isolation, and I'm working through several LucasArts games, One of, and I've uh, been working through the, the Monkey Island series, and as of the time of this recording, Tales of Monkey Island got re-released, so that might be in the playlist as well. Time will tell. And there's some others up on the channel you might like, so please subscribe, and again, enjoy it, and... Take care all. Again, this is Rich on YouTube. Rich Kale on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere. Goodbye.